Fire the hole! Fire the hole! Fire the hole! So today uh, is the first day of a free day FTX. We are doing it in conjunction with the 95th Civil Support Team which is an Army and Air Force National Guard outfit that handles WMDs within the state of California. Uh, this is the first part of their ac academic training. Uh, here they will be taught how to recognize homemade explosives. Then we will move out to the EOD range where we will conduct some explosive training. They'll get to see uh, homemade explosive. They'll get to see military explosive and compare what each one can do. So the last day is going to be a field training exercise between both groups. We will have a scenario which will require both entities to work together. The scenario was that there was a vehicle out here. This building's been abandoned for a couple years now. They saw a vehicle leaving the scene, so security forces were called to investigate. Security forces showed up, went into the building to make sure no one was here, and they saw what they described as bomb-making material and some type of lab setup. So that immediately prompted the response for the 9th EOD, which is stationed here at Beale, and then the 95th CST out of Hayward to investigate the WMD side. EOD goes through a multiple stages of training, and it's all about explosives. Awareness, recognition, and then also the people who put on the bomb suits and render devices safe. By either dis disassembling them or using a charge, which they're gonna do today to render one safe. So the civil support team is made up of uh, 22 full-time Air and Army National Guardsmen. They go through 18 months of specialized training just to be certified to respond to a WMD incident. They work directly for the governor of the state that they're assigned to, and today the 95th is out of Hayward, California. California actually has two teams. The 9th CST is also down in Anaheim as well. We train everybody from law enforcement to military, Secret Service, FBI, CIA, and the biggest take home from this is that when the red flag goes up and it's a real incident, you want to know and you want to train with them prior to that because it helps things and makes that entry seamless when it comes to incident response. We can have the most sophisticated technology and equipment, but without the proper training of how to implement that and use it in a real world response, we're selling ourselves short. They're keeping everyone safe. It's all about public safety. Whether it happens on a military installation or a downtown metropolitan area, anybody who sees this training should feel safe knowing that there's entities out there that got their six.